terrorist baby Tú lo sabes Hey, mi mente en esto nunca quiso parar Yo tengo hambre de MC y si los quise comer Yo los comiera, yo los cago como que me hizo mal El terrorista tiene bombas y no aviso de nada Esto es solo el empiezo y tu inicio final Solo quiero estar en lo alto y Eddie quiso tocar Soy Don Cangrejo por la feria, ese es un vicio muy mal Solo quiero ser una estrella, soy Patricio del Mar Un proyecto de Dios, él no me hizo igual Por eso los tiro al piso como hechizos del mar Es mi adicción veloz abajo o en el piso que Yo, this will be Luciano de la Vega again to your screen. Rocking out with Music Guy MTV, Hip Hop and Battle Rap, Latino Battle League, VerseTracker.com. Check that out too. I mean, you can see how I kill people. But, anyways, let's get to this. This is my recap for the, the Harlem event, which was a success. It was really, it was a step up for the culture. We went to uh, Latino Battle League, went to Harlem to, to battle. Batalla de Talento Urbano, big shout out to them. And let's get to this recap, man. So, I'm, I'm not gonna do it chronologically. I'm gonna do it first, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, do, I'm, I'm gonna do them scattered. So, first, Wesley and Udi Malicia. That was a hell of a battle, man. I, I fucked with them. Um, but definitely, I think Wesley got it. I mean, they both was talking that street shit. And Wesley know how to talk that street shit more, better than Uli Malicia to me. You know, like he was talking to him. He in the second round he started giving him like su lapida, how that, that he was already dead. He pronounced him dead. The third round, I think, it was, I think the third round I'll give it to Uli Malicia just on the strength that uh, Wesley started talking like more English and talking to somebody else. That was supposed to be in the building and not to his his opponent that was in front of him. But overall I think I would, I would say Wesley 2-1. You know? Second second battle. Uh Junis one versus versus what's his name? Diaz Mafia. Uh it's not what we expected. Like Junis one, he has like more of a of a backpack style, you know, like the, he's not the typical Latino battle league um, kind of dude, you know. He don't he don't use gun bars or none of that. He talk more like with intelligence. So and he also has a different dialect. So most of the people wouldn't understand if they're not from from South America or from Peru, they wouldn't understand what he's talking about. But he's talking with intelligence to these dudes. Um, Diaz Mafia You would have thought that this nigga Because he's fresh out Cause <laughs> you know I heard that he just came out of jail um, You would have thought He would have like some shit But he didn't have much To offer like he was, he was He didn't come ready he didn't come prepared I, I feel like if he would have been ready If he would have come ready He would have he would have said some shit but He started freestyling and That's when uh, Junis one started freestyling too and you know, it was, I guess, like one of the one of the weakest uh, battles in the, in the event. Next, uh, the last battle was Wagata versus Bombillo. <sighs> Yo, this niggas went in hard body, dog. Like you can tell, these niggas was like the top tiers of the two leagues. Like they were like. They were, they were spitting bar, bar after bar after bar after bar, like, Bombillo, he was talking that shit, Wagata was talking that shit too, the only thing that, I guess, I just gotta give it to, I gotta give the third round to Bombillo because, he was, I mean, he was preaching, he started, he started preaching to Wagata, and Wagata stood on that, on that street shit, so, you know, like, I think I think both did great. I think it was the best battle of the night. But um, they they definitely got two different styles. Like Wagata had more street shit. Uh, Mobio had more <coughs> conscious conscious shit. So I guess this is like this depends on 
what is your style of preference, you know? If you like street shit, if you like more conscious shit. It's like, you got Kendrick Lamar here, and you have the game, you know, like, it's two different styles. And last battle, which was the first battle, uh, which was a good intro. It got the people hyped up. It got the people, like, the crowd to react and get interested in these battles. Um, you know, I think this, the two dudes went in. <laughs> Ambush versus Luciano. Um, it was, this was more like, it wasn't a bar for bar joint. It was more of a entertaining battle. Oh, I had, I brought, like, I, I regret what I brought, because if I would have brought my street shit, I think I would have done better. But I brought more jokes because I know that's what Dominican crap wanted. You know, that they, they all, they all, they all were there to have a good time, to laugh a little bit, you know, so. Do what we had to do we get the we gave the crowd a good show um ambush i think he had he was passing the, the, the limit of 130 one minute and 30 seconds but hey it is what it is you know um but he has some he has some flames i i fucked with there's a bar where <laughs> he said something about week alone and then his whole fucking crowd started singing Simon, Simon. I was like, all right, we got that. But I got to I gotta say that I got the first two rounds. I gave him the third round because the third round, I brought more like bars instead of jokes. And people, it went over people's heads. And it wasn't like the strongest bars either. So, you know, like I didn't expect the crowd to react, but... Uh, I also did a scheme at the end that didn't work out. A little aventura uh, scheme, but it didn't work out. But hey, it is what it is. I gotta take that out. But two one for me ambush. Next time, step your game up, man. <laughs> and yeah, man, the event was a success. Shout outs to V to you. Um, the only thing that motherfuckers gotta be on time, man. Like I was, I was a little tight because. Wesley was supposed to work on Monday morning and everybody started getting there like around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock and we were supposed to be out by 10 so we can get to Chinatown at 11 o'clock and catch the bus but you know, we, we just found a telly to stay around there and I mean niggas, and also niggas had like five, four performances between each battle and you know, I gotta I got give it to them, you know, that's their promotion because if the battles would have been over by 10 then niggas would be start splitting that time, you know. So I, I understand that. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, BTU versus LBL was a success. It was a uh, tremendous night. Um, step up for the culture. And uh, next time, yo, Kenny Stacks, man. Kenny Stacks, let me talk to you, man. Next time, I'm gonna cook you. Just watch the footage. Just like I did ambush, I'ma do you dirty, dog. I'ma do you dirty. And next time I come with bars, fuck the jokes. I'm bringing bars, nigga. Get ready. And Malicia, Malicia, you had some shit, but you can't compare, man. Yeah. Oh, also, 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 this weekend, don't forget to tune in. Don't forget to tune in. This is gonna be a special, special show, Luciano edition. On Saturday, I'm battling uh, Joey Styles and King Hush Hush. I'm battling Joey thing. Styles at 1 yeah. p.m. 1 p.m. Joey Styles and, at and 7 Hush PM. Hush at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Then Sunday, I come right back at it like a crack addict. And I'm battling Nara MC at 7 p.m. Right after that, June is one to, you know, step up for Peru. Um, okay. But big shout outs to uh, Sosa Los Poderes. Ambush, Uli Malicia, Bombillo, all them niggas that showed up. Uh, the boys from the radio show that also came to the show to support everybody that supported movement. Salute to everybody that I name. You already know. Much love to everybody. Variety, the analyzer. Music I Am TV. Check this out. Latino Battle League, versetracker.com. You're going to see all the killings there. Peace. Terrorize, baby. Uh, tú lo sabes.
Ey, mi mente en esto nunca quiso para Yo tengo hambre de MC, si sí, los quise comer Yo los comiera, yo los cago como que me hizo mal El terrorista tiene bombas y no aviso de nada Esto es solo el empiezo y tu inicio final Solo quiero estar en lo alto y edificio tu ca Soy don cangrejo por la feria, ese es un vicio muy mal Solo quiero ser una estrella, soy Patricio del Mar Un proyecto de Dios, él no me hizo igual Por eso los tiro al piso como hechizos del mar Es mi adicción veloz abajo o en el piso que...